Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kicking? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. Hey Queen, come on and spill the tea. Hey Queen, it's just a good old fashioned kiki. Hey Queen, we're cutting up with Johnny. Hey, 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 hey Queen. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hello, my beautiful gay babies. And welcome to another gag-worthy episode of with me, Johnny McGovern. <laughs> oh, today's show's been a long time coming. The one and only Shangie Angie herself, Miss Chandela LaQuifa Watley is here, and we are going to really get into it. Get into all of it, darling. I'm excited. Yes, Shangie. But before we bring her out, there's another very special woman I have to introduce. She's the Uber of drag queens. If she's in your hood, you're definitely getting a ride. And she's got plenty of room in her back seat. It's Miss Lady Red Couture. Yeah. Oh, hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. Oh, hello. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good today, you darling. Look excellent, baby. Oh, thank you. You look really, really festive. Um, I do feel festive because not only am I wearing the pop of pink and colors, if I go like this. Uh-oh. Who do I see? Oh. Oh my God. It's me and you. Yes. <laughs> we are armpit sisters. You, you are right in my armpit. Yes. I hope I don't have a sweat stain yet. <laughs> I'll be like, Lady Rams just eating chicken. That's a grease stain <laughs> from her mouth. Like, Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, Lady Red. <laughs> Thank you to Jeffrey Aviles, who drew the, made this drawing, and it's we tried to turn it into a shirt. Yeah. Turn it into a shirt. It's beat, hunty. And it looks like your skirt almost matches my shirt, twinsy style. Oh, my God, your pussy. Oh. Your pussy's on fire. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> we need a pussy <laughs> alert. System. Pussy control. Pussy alert system. Sorry. Because the pussy alert system, it, that means in case Lady <laughs> Red's pussy is showing, the, this is not a test. But if they, if you do see Lady Red's pussy, you will hear this sound. Girl, your pussy showing! Girl, your pussy showing! Ah, <laughs> yes! Lady Red, do you, we don't have flowers today because we have a new vodka bouquet. Yes, oh, I love that. It's global vodka. Yes. It's organic, pure, and gluten-free. Yes. I love global vodka. Yes, I love gluten-free. I anything. know, and it's, look at this award-winning, beautiful bottle. Yes. You can purchase some global vodka for a very good price with free shipping at this address. Ooh. Bing. Wow! <laughs> Thank you very much, Global Vodka. Johnny! Yes. What? what? Cut! Get your hands off me! What? Johnny, cut! What's going God on? Damn it. Johnny! What? I found you at last! What? Oh. Uh, excuse me. You what? stay back. What? I finally found you. Oh. What? Can I believe? Pardon me, darling. Oh. I'm so upset at you, Johnny. What's going on, oh. everyone? Oh. Whoa! Oh. Johnny! Oh. You've been ignoring me oh. for two weeks, Johnny! Two weeks on scruff! I message you back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Middle of the night, you say you want a Wait. booty call. Oh. Wait, hold you on. You say it. you want a booty call and nothing, oh. nada. Oh. 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 Hold on a second. Come oh, closer. Right, so come come right. here for a second. <laughs> no. Wait a second, I recognize you. Oh? You're that weird bird oh, that keeps more. messaging me on Scruff. Oh, oh. Yes, darling, it's me, Miss Fuego. Yes, Miss Miss Fuego, I don't know if you're aware, but we are in the middle of filming a I little show. I don't care, show. Johnny. Oh. I don't care. The world for me has stopped since I've met you and started messaging you on this. On this grass, Johnny, you're so beautiful. Oh, look, look. You're so gorgeous. Miss Fuego, I told you, first of all. Oh, jeez. Johnny, come with me right now. Miss, Take my wing. Listen Let's to me, go. Miss Fuego. Get out of here. Listen. I told you. Johnny. I'm gay. I don't like women. And second of all, you're a bird. But Johnny. I'm not into birds. It's Johnny. M for M, not M Johnny. for B. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Shh, 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 shh. But Johnny, how much do you like cock, huh? Think about it, Johnny. Look at me, Johnny. Mm. I'm like a big, big rooster. I do love cock. That is true, but that was a trick. I'm the That's biggest cock trick. you've ever seen, Johnny. Oh Come my on, God. look how excited you make me, oh, darling. Geez. Come on, kiss it, darling. Oh, Come on, just give me a little kiss. Uh -uh. Just give me a little kiss. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. Oh, okay, Lady Red, darling. Oh, thank you, Lady Red. Protect me. Oh, bitch. Don't you even try this, bitch. I know these this lashes. Is She's done this to me before. Miss Thing, Tried to come between me and my have, man. Don't you have a roost you up in Long Beach, bitch? No. Yes, child. I thought 
They looked a little familiar. Okay, you know what? You know Lady what, Red, do you know this bird? Of course I know. Oh, <laughs> she's, can, do we have any security here in this show at all? Fine, because... Johnny, fine. Listen, darling. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> I'll go. I'll let you get back to work, honey. I'll let you get back to work, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, uh, listen, darling. Come for me after the show, okay? Uh, I'll be waiting in my roast. Uh-uh. Messy tramp. Okay, so <laughs> she's breaking the set. <laughs> <laughs> that huge weird bird just flew in, caused a ruckus, <laughs> messed up my set, <laughs> made out with me. You crazy, and bitch. Look what kind of shit you got going on, girl. She laid an egg back here. That's nasty. She laid a damn egg. It's a big one, too. I'm going to pick that bitch up as soon as we go to break. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're getting scrambled eggs, Lady Red. Okay. Oh, well, honey. What was oh, she? I don't know. She just some flew, type of flew away. That's some kind of accommodation. I don't know, Miss, Miss Fuego. Hey, you was on scruff, you nasty bitch. Of course I was on scruff. I'm a man were. with a penis, but I'm not looking for a bird. That's one thing I want you to know. <laughs> I'm not looking for a bird, only cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of this. We're going to be back with Shangela after this very gay break. Plaintiff and defendant, do you swear to tell the T, the whole T, and nothing but the T, no O's, yes, God? Yes. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lady Red presiding. Have a seat. As a matter of fact, have several seats. You can't judge shade unless you live in the shade. Order in this court, motherfucker. Something stinks around here. I think it's a lie. I can't believe you came into my court looking like this. I need a piece of chicken. <laughs> Who's cutting up in the courtroom? Who puts the case to bed? Who's serving the and justice? It's Judge Lady Red. All rise for Judge Lady Red. Because I'm like 17% Cherokee, 10% uh, Blackfoot, and then like 13% Naha. Nah. Well, the whole part so, right. Oh, She's oh. my tray and my wig. Wait a minute now. Oh, don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. I was just telling her what you said. Order in the court, bitches. Order in the damn court. I do have a gay lift. People, come get your ass. Judge Lady Red. LaQuiva! <laughs> LaQuiva La said what? <laughs> Shangela, you are finally here. You are looking yes. gorgeous. Hey, Queen. Thank you. Hey, Queen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're repping Texas. Paris, Texas. The big times. You know, Paris, Texas is my hometown. It's the second largest city of Paris in the world. Oh. And I always rep Paris, honey. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People are like, oh, Paris, France. You're like, I'm like, Paris, Texas. No, nah, bitch, I'm a country hoe. Paris, Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look who it is, Lady Red. Oh, my God. It's so good to see her. You better hit <laughs> yes. that note, Lady Red. Yes. <laughs> she had a little earlier was saying that she was a, oh, didn't know you were so far away, and she wanted some of your chicken, right? True, but oh. I noticed that looks like supermarket chicken. I'm a Popeye's kind of girl on a Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Well, I mean, bitch, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm sure we're begging. <laughs> Oh, Red, you did not have to eat that drumstick in front of me like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, you stay in your place. You stay a skinny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shangela, you look yes. gorgeous. Thank you so do you, Johnny. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. Here. Lady Red's on my right armpit right there. Should we all be so lucky? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you stepped off the plane right from the life ball. Weren't you just well, there? Yes. You know, we had such a good time in Austria. It was my first time uh, being at the life ball, which is this annual uh, huge, one of the largest AIDS fundraisers in the world. Yeah. So at the event, you know, of course, the drag race goes with me, Courtney Act, Bianca, um, Jinx Monsoon and Ben De La Creme mm -hmm. were all there. And then like such legendary divas like Jackie Beat was there. Mm. And then, you know, like celebrity divas like Paul Abdul, Amanda Lepore was wow. there, Dina Delicious. It was just, it was fantastic and the whole plane going from New York to Austria is a non-stop charter jet. Just everybody. I've never been on a plane like this, okay? <laughs> so you get up in the air and they're like, doom, seatbelt sign is off, have fun, and that's it. And here come <laughs> all the stewardesses all dressed up and glittered with like free bottles, just hand out bottles of wine. Kelly Osborne's there kicking it, who I love. She's so sweet. <laughs> we just had an amazing time and there were no safety regulations because you know I've been on enough planes. Mm -hmm. I could have given them, ladies and gentlemen, 
please fasten your safety belts. There are two exits in the front and two in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> but instead, they were like, bitch, do whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah, I'm cuckoo airlines. Just don't open that exit door hole, because then I'll be looking like this. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on to your wigs. Hold on to your wigs. We actually, we actually got in drag on the plane. Wow. Because when you land, there's a huge red carpet, and with all the press from Austria, and they're interviewing everyone. So me and Ben were like, everyone finally get ready. They passed it. Like we have four hours before landing, so everyone's like, well, let's take a nap. Me and Ben were like, let's go take over the bathroom, bitch. <laughs> so me, three drag queens in an airplane bathroom, all in that one mirror, like, excuse me, ho, excuse me, sorry, scoot over, baby. All right, lovely. We got done, bitch. We did. Uh, you did. <laughs> yes, yeah, another. It's like a drag race challenge. It was. Waiting to happen. Thank you. I might win that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Life Ball, you just finished a tour with House of Edwards. Yes, and we're still picking up new dates here and there. Um, we had a great tour in the UK, Australia, throughout the US. We just came back from Porto Alegre, Brazil. Brazil oh, fans mm. are some of the best in the entire world. Now, we love all of our fans, uh, of, of course. course. Let me make that. We love all the fans <laughs> around the world. But there's something about Brazil, the energy, the passion. Uh, they get so excited. All of us who've gone there almost have crowd surfed. I just saw you know, me, Adore, I think Adore was kind of one of the first drag race girls to be like, I'm jumping in the crowd. I don't give up, you know. <laughs> so she's out there and we're like, that girl gonna break her neck, girl. <laughs> and then the next thing you just get so caught up in the energy, you're like, I'm gonna lean back. Yes. Please don't drop a bitch and don't pull off my wig. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing. Viva Brazil! Viva Brazil! Not or Che Amo, Che Amo. Oh. That's I love you in Portuguese, you oh. see. Oh yes, Che Amo. Te amo, Brazil. Te amo your big cocks, Brazil. Oh. Te amo your big muscles, Brazil. Si, 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 si. Si, ay, 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 ay. So has it been really uh, an adventure, a fun adventure, touring with the gals, with your mother, Miss Alyssa yes. Edwards, and your stepsister? Miss Lagonda <laughs> Well, I only say steps is because we have different daddies, yeah. obviously. <laughs> but um, but she's so great. She's grown so much since the show, and it's been so. I didn't really know Lagonda, the performer, prior to. Um, as closely as I know Alyssa. I've been friends with Alyssa for like 10 years. I used right. to back up dance for her as a boy in all the pageants, honey. Look, check the videos. If y'all got the old videos, check the videos, because I'm there. Front <laughs> row fish at that. Oh. So um, I've known her for a number of years, and I've gotten to know Laganja even more since she came on to the agency that I run, Say What Entertainment. Oh, right. And, I um, keep forgetting sometimes that you a boss in a big I'm a way. Working, I'm a working fish. And yes. I'm so, you know, I have a song called Working Girl Professional. Yes, you do. Yes. And I just, I've gotten to know her better and I've gotten to even strengthen my bond with Alyssa. And it's great to have a drag family and be a part of a sisterhood, even more so than RuPaul's Drag Race sisterhood, a really tight knit group. And you know, there's always drama, there's always stunt shows, but there's always death drops, hot kicks, and entertainment, baby. <laughs> yes, there <laughs> is. Now, speaking of death drops, yes. you did the death drop of death. Oh, a I'm little back. while ago. <laughs> but you seem to be doing very nicely. Now tell me about what happened and then tell me about what happened after. Okay. Well, uh about a year and a half ago now, uh, Halloween in uh, New York City, uh -huh. I was performing at the Halloween show. Oh. And, you know, Sharon Needles was also performing there, and I was like, well, she won one Halloween, so I know I'm in second place tonight, but I'm going to give them a show, baby. <laughs> so um, I was really going in, and not just any regular death drop, because, you know, I was on uh, the show Dance Moms on Lifetime teaching little Nia and some of the girls how to do the death drop. Yes. So if anybody should know how to death drop, it should be Shangie Angie, right? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I was doing a leaping death drop of life. Okay, Ooh. I wanted, I was gonna try to pull a Tandy Iman Dupree. Remember when she oh, fell out of the stairs? Yes, stand honey. And I Boom. I hit um, a prop on the way down and just it didn't work right. It was a death drop gone wrong. Oh. And I ended up breaking my right leg, both the tibula. Tibia and fibula bones snapped right at the side of the leg. Tibia and fibia? Yeah, both sisters, honey. Oh, girl, so, <laughs> not tibia and fibia. So I, the bones broke through the skin, but they didn't break through the pantyhose, because you know mama wears support hose, I'm okay? Right. Well, applause <laughs> for the hose, yes. Applause for the hose, yes. And so um, <laughs> I remember I was on the stage and everyone always asked me, oh my God, did it hurt so much when you came down and broke your leg? And I was like, no, bitch, because I was, you know, I didn't even know it was broken until I couldn't reach the dollar that I was trying to get from the man tipping <laughs> me in the front. I was trying to get back up and I was like, 
I can't get, why can't I get that dollar? Oh, oh. So, um, they had to bring the ambulance. It was New York City, of course. On Halloween so, night? On, honey, on Halloween night. And you know, when they were taking me out through the dance floor, because good old New York City, ain't got no back door at the yes. club. Yes. They were taking me through the dance floor on a gurney with my oh leg my up. God. And you know, the New York City queens weren't trying to move, bitch. They paid $95 to get in for Halloween. <laughs> right. And they were like, should be all right. I'm so fancy. Yeah. <laughs> but the fans were great. You know, as I was being rolled out, they were like, Shinji, are you okay? Are you all right? And I was like, holla, little bitch, keep on dancing, I'll be back. <laughs> and then they were like, wonderful, can we get a selfie with you real quick? Oh, man. On the gurney. But I'll say this, I spent three uh, weeks in the hospital in New York. They had to put a titanium rod Ooh. in the leg here and two screws in the knee and two in the ankle. Ooh. And then I spent two and a half months in physical therapy. Honey. Like, you know, on a walker, on crutches, in a boot, and then back to in a shoe. And they thought I wouldn't be able to go back on tour, perform again even in heels at least until August of the next year. Honey, I was back on tour at the end of February. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. And, that, and really, that's just to say, you know, Never let anyone or any situation deem how you can come back from something. If you put your mind to it, you put in the work, honey, mm -hmm. and go for it. You can come back from anything. And as people know, my fans were so supportive the whole time. Uh, on Instagram, I was doing videos from the hospital bed, honey. I was doing, <laughs> thank God for the phone. But it was just an amazing um, momentum. And I really worked hard because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let this whole broken leg thing take me down. Yeah. I'm Shangela, honey. I always come back. <laughs> Whether it's in a box or... <laughs> <laughs> Recently, for Bianca's roast, uh, we did in New York. I surprised her, and I came down. You have to check this video out yeah. on YouTube. I came down in a chandelier out what? of the top of the uh, Liberty Theater. Ooh. And wait a minute, I had to load into that bitch two hours before the event. Ah. <laughs> so it was a surprise. Right? There was no way to get you in a chandelier. <laughs> right. So there I am in a cloak, bitch, sitting up there like Whitney Houston in the bodyguard, <laughs> covered and sitting in the chandelier. Those hoes like to talk. Mm -hmm. It was two hours late. I was like, oh, Ooh. what if I have to pee? Oh, oh, no. Girl, they put me up there with a box of Popeyes and a bottle of Jack Daniels, and I was good. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fall out like, one uh -uh. piece of chicken, two pieces of chicken, empty bottle, Well, Angela. I'm sure people thought the, the place was, was raining from the inside or cracking because I was, you know, little crumbs that falling <laughs> through the bottom of the chandelier. <laughs> bitch, I was eating my chicken like red. How about that? Uh, it was good. Drag it was queen so of good. the opera, bitch. I Hallelujah. Love Drag yeah. queen of the opera. Yeah. Thank you, Lady Red. <laughs> the Shangji of the opera is here. The uh, Shangji is here inside your mind. I'm a Broadway fish. You yeah. Know yeah. What you, mean, <laughs> you know what? That's what, you know, you're hurting yourself and coming over it. It seems like a through line for you and your career is really perseverance for sure you know you were on you were on that first that first was it season one second, second, season. second season, season two season two just for one episode that's right and then you took that year and i remember watching it happen because you were on that up that one episode but then i kept seeing you and you were doing stand-up stuff and you're performing at all the clubs you were showing them that you did a lot more <laughs> than just be that girl from that one episode and then it all paid off well, was that was a big very, was that a big thing? That's a big thing for you. You know, Johnny, I was just very thankful for the opportunity to be on Drag Race. And I think when you have an opportunity like that, which is rare, I mean so many people would love that opportunity. You can't take it for granted. Right. And I've always been a girl that worked. Before I came into Drag Race That's or true. even performing in drag, That's you true. know, I was the first in my family to go to college. I was the first to get like a real like college grad job and work and help support my mom and my grandma. It's never been an option to me not to work. Right. I just have that in me. And even if I'm not doing, you know, shows every other day, you know, we work a lot on the weekends, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Mama's still working on a Monday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. That's just that. the kind of spirit that I have. So, you know, after Drag Race season two, I was just like, okay, well, okay, I went there, thought I was gonna get 20 grand, <laughs> but I didn't, so I'm back at the house, now what? Right. Let's get to work. And mm. I was really thankful to, you know, go on and win California Entertainer of the Year, a pageant that year. Right, and then get versus a, a lot of other big uh, future Drag Race stars, right? Yeah, and who are all stars, yeah. uh, but we were all in the same pageant. Me, Detox, Willem, uh, Delta Work, Chad Michaels, wow. Jasmine Masters, 
uh, all of us were in that pageant. <laughs> that girl, I, we got to sit and watch the video sometimes. Okay. We have a key every time because we were all new, <laughs> not new, but it was our first time, a lot of us, some yeah. of the girls not, but competing in a pageant. Right. Willem came out on a segue for question and answer. <laughs> 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 it was great. But it's just, it's fun. That was 2010. Now we're in 2015 to see where everyone's careers have gone and what they're doing. It's just fun to have that kind of memory. And always, and I hope to inspire other people this, just never be afraid to do the work. Because mm -hmm. nothing's going to be handed to you. Don't think just because you got on Drag Race, you got a golden ticket. Mm -hmm. If you were the first to go or you were the winner. If you don't put in the work that you have to do and be nice to your fans. Don't mm -hmm. explain Because you know that. it ain't nothing without the people who support you. That's right. Then it's very important. Don't be afraid to do that. Hmm. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now, what was it like that moment when you spent that whole year performing all over the place, still keeping your name out there, and then it was like, bring, 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 bring. You're like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my, uh, um, from Scary, my Brenda from Scary Movie, when she goes pick up the phone, says, hello. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, it was great. Well, I put in, no one really knew this. I put in an audition tape for season three. It, I didn't want to put it, upload it. At the time, they were uploading them all to the site. Right. And I didn't want it to be public because I didn't want to be like, oh, she's trying to come back uh -huh. again. Girl. So I sent it to the producers privately. And um, it was just saying, you know, I've worked really hard. I would love to try and come back. Just, you know, that. And they called me literally the next day. Wow. And the producer said, we have an idea. We would love to to bring you back, we've seen you put in a lot of work this year, we wanna see more from you. And I said, oh my God, did y'all love my video? And they said, <laughs> what video? They hadn't <laughs> even gotten to it in the email, bitch. Wow. And I say that, and that's a true story, just because if you put the positive thinking towards something, if you put the willpower toward it, sometimes it comes back to you because you put that spirit and that energy out there. Probably and that's too. what I think that was. I wanted it. I wanted to go back on Drag Race. And they had the idea, and those two ideas just kind of met without even actually, you know, being, knowing that they were even both out there. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's crazy. You're yeah. like, they didn't even see my video. I you don't work into that. damn video. That cost me 250. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I later uploaded it to YouTube All myself. Right. <laughs> Somebody's gonna see that video. I'm going to. <laughs> Monetize this, thank you. <laughs> when I got to LA, when I got to LA, Johnny, I was working in PR and I was um, also doing a little theater here and there, and at the Knightsbridge Theater mm -hmm. here in LA. And um, one, they, it was when Beyonce's big single ladies, you know, Lady Red, no single ladies. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. When single ladies was big, there were three guys doing it for a show at the Here Lounge called Sobar, which was a sober event they did during at, on Sundays during the day. And they were like, "Can you teach us the Beyonce dance?" I was like, sure. And the night before they were supposed to perform Single Ladies as a trio, one of the guys got sick and couldn't go on. So they asked me if I would fill in for him. And I was like, I don't have no wig, I don't have no pads, I don't have no nothing. And they were like, oh, you know, the, where there's one gay, honey, uh, somebody knows somebody with a wig that, yes. that wants to put a five, six, seven, eight on your mug. <laughs> so I shaved and that was the end of it. I ended up doing the show. Patrick, who at the time was the promoter for Here Lounge, asked me to come back. He said, come back and do our amateur show. I said, oh no, baby, I don't do drag. This is just my first time filling in. He said, you can win $100. I said, well, you know, fish like money. So, <laughs> <laughs> but the real, even more so than the money, I just, I had a good time. So I went back, I did my Beyonce number. And my entire career from when I first started in 2009 to now, a most of it is on YouTube. We used to record every performance, every mm -hmm. video, mm -hmm. and post it on YouTube. That was right when YouTube was starting to be kind of big. Yeah. And, um, and that's how I started building a fan base. And just, I had so much fun. And five months into that, Drag Race producers were at Mickey's. They saw me perform. They said, you'll be perfect for our show. I said, oh, no, baby. I don't know nothing about my hair. I don't even do my own makeup. I don't have no wigs, no costume. Oh, you'll be perfect for the show. <laughs> so I auditioned, and that was the end of that. Yeah. And then you took that other year and watched a lot of makeup tutorials in between. YouTube, honey, because Pixie you Woo. have really your glamour game from your first appearance in our lives <laughs> to now has stepped up in a huge way. Thank you so much. You know what? It is all about learning and growing. I did watch a lot of YouTube tutorials, and also when I'd be in the room getting ready with girls in the back, I'd be looking. Girl, they would get tired of me because I'd ask a million questions. <laughs> Detox knows we'd be at Hamburger Mary's. I'd be like, Dee Dee, what's that color you got on your eye? She ain't just come over here next to me, mama, just watch. Because I'd be like, <laughs> how do you get your crease just like this? And people like Alexis, Mariah, she was like, Miss Shangie, how are you doing this cut? I said, I'm just doing this. She said, girl, get a card, 
take that credit card, put it right there, whop, and that would just pull that eye right on back. So I learned what would work for my face. Right. I don't do a lot of makeup tutorials on YouTube because uh -huh. I don't consider myself like the best makeup artist. I mm. think there are people who are trained professionals and people who know about makeup. I know what works for me. Yeah. So I love, I just love playing and having a good time. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's questionable, but I, <laughs> <laughs> Alexis told me one time, she said, Miss Shanji, you need to learn this. Play to stay home, okay? I said, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but it's fine. Now, tell me about uh, how you met Alyssa Edwards and how that relationship began. Yeah, well, I used to dance back up in Dallas right. for Alyssa. I was dancing at a pageant once for a drag queen named Claudia Foster in the Miss America system. We were in Little Rock, Arkansas. It was my first time dancing back up for someone. And after the talent portrait, Alyssa came to me in the back. She said, what's your name? I said, DJ. She goes, who you dance for? I said, oh, this is just my first time. I was dancing for Claudia. Mm -mm, you dance for me now. You come on over to the studio, you're going to be at Edwards, okay? <laughs> I said, okay. And I just had so much fun. We used to be there. Honey, we'd get about 45 minutes of rehearsal done and three hours of talking. <laughs> but it was so fun uh, to be with them. I was working in, like, corporate PR at the time. So mm. I'd do my 9 to 5 job. And then at night, I'd be with the gays. And we'd be kicking it over at the studio. And we'd go off to pageants on the weekends. And, like, and it was just so fascinating and fun for me. And it was, like, competition and, like, it was just great, and we had we all became such close friends through that. And you bloomed into the beautiful flower well, that yes. you are. Yes, and then here. she saw me on Drag Race season two and three, and she right. called and said, "Miss Shanji, when did you?" Well, she didn't call me Shanji, Miss DJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Uh, when did you start doing drag, girl? Don't you have a real job? <laughs> I said, <laughs> "Yes, but I'm having so much fun doing this." Okay, if you're gonna be a drag queen girl, come over here. We're gonna have to teach you something about this makeup, okay, girl? I said, <laughs> okay. And she's just been very, a great friend yeah. to me since then, always. And um, we just became close. And now I told her, Alyssa, you have to audition for Drag Race. Girl, what am I gonna do over there on Miss RuPaul, girl? I, I'm not going over there. Alyssa, you are made for television. You need to audition. <laughs> well, I might. I don't know. And so finally she did, and she ended up getting on the show. So it's great to be able to have, you know, a friendship before that and mm. now be able to share in these experiences together. And I, I just loved watching her star rise, too. I always knew she was a star. Right. Of course, you know, I think I am also a star. You are, we darling. We're all stars. But it is, she is so entertaining and naturally, and she doesn't have to try, you know. Yeah. She's her best when she has no idea she's being filmed. <laughs> right. And I love to film her when she don't know she's being filmed. <laughs> <laughs> I like to trick Lady Red like that sometimes, too. <laughs> I'll, put up the phone, I'll put the camera on while we're driving. I'll be like, tell me about about that man you slept with, Lady Red. Red, I want to hear this story. <laughs> oh yes, you can see it. I'm <laughs> driving with Johnny and Lady Red. You are continuing to be busy. You still, you're working on TV. You've done like a bazillion guest spots on every network, <laughs> all over the place. Thank you. You know what? I came to LA to work as an actor, and I think that's my end goal to be able to work in scripted television, um, a comedy sitcom on TV. And I've been so thankful to have a lot of opportunities um, with a lot of different networks. Yeah, I've worked on shows like Glee, Community, Two Broke Girls. I want to work in and out of drag. And I mm -hmm. think right now there are so many great opportunities, whether it's for drag or trans or gay, that weren't here five, ten years ago. Yeah. And so I want to take advantage of every single one of those. And maybe I'll even straight up play a straight detective one day. Oh, my goodness. Named Nancy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Nancy but, Drew is so fish. Oh, she's my God. So fish, uh, honey, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even talk about your bazillion catchphrases. Hallelujah. What? <laughs> I mean, there's so, so many more of them. They just seem like they keep, you're like a factory. Well, yeah, yeah, we just keep cranking them out. Keep like cranking them boots. out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome. You know what? We have merchandise on my website, shangela.com. There are Hallelujah bracelets. There are Hallelujah t-shirts. We have La Quifa. Um, it's Hallelujah's in it, the DVD, which was a stand-up comedy DVD. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, um, I brought you guys a copy, of Hooray! course. Yeah. And you can get it on 
strong shared. I also brought you this special thing, you Johnny. Did? Yeah, this is from Paris, Texas, okay? The Chamber of Commerce gave me these for my stand up comedy show. Okay. Which, by the way, I'm doing a new one hour cabaret. I've done three now, sold out shows in New York. Uh, the first one was called Laquifa's Hollow Losing It. Uh, the second one was <laughs> called Straight it. Out of Paris. Yes. Oh. And now this one is called Country Fried Fish. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Of uh -huh. course. Check out Country Fried Fish in New, in New York at yes. the Laurie Beachman Theater, and then we'll be touring it as well. But this. Oh. It's from Paris, Texas. It's one of our Eiffel Towers. We have an Eiffel Tower in our town. <laughs> but it has a big red cowboy hat on the top of it. So I want you to have that. Oh, thank you, mm -hmm. Shannon. Yes. Mm -hmm. A little piece of Paris, baby. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it right by fake time. I'm going to go from right here. Boop, right by the boner sign. Now you're a world traveler, Now baby. I'm very international, yeah, Shannon. She's very that, girl. <laughs> she's very that. <laughs> oh, Shannon, it's been so fun to have you on the show. Thank you, you are. You are really a great example for young queens on how to persevere through all situations, be professional, and bring it and every work. time. Yes, thank and you. And work. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lady Red, I love you. Girl, you continue to inspire and continue to make people desire. Yes! yes. And Chandler, <laughs> darling. I love you. You snatched your trophy, on Yeah! Yes. Finally! Yes. Uh, wait a minute. Is there a $100,000 check that goes with <laughs> this? No, but there is a lap dance. Yes. Yes. Don't forget, we will be playing Look at Her with Shangela in the after show. So click on through to that, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Queen. Bye.